Hello. So recently we did something a wee bit crazy. I don't know if you can see them there, but that's a dead giveaway. Two weekends ago, we went to a Halloween party and basically all night I just sat petting the dogs that they had at the party. And me and Devon were talking about how we've been talking about getting a dog for literally forever. And we've really, really been seriously considering it over the last few months and, and really like just thinking about it. And we had told ourselves that we were going to wait until after Christmas and probably get one around maybe like February, March or whatever. So the next day after this Halloween party, we wake up and I'm extremely hungover and we're watching TV, you know, I'm looking at puppies and I look at Devon and I'm like, I'm so hungover today. Like the only thing that can cure me is if we get a puppy today. He looks at me and he's like, let's just do it. And I look at him and I'm like, don't fuck with me. And he's like, no, we've been talking about it for so long. Let's just do it today. Let's just go. And then we did have a wee bit of a hurdle. Um, our landlord didn't really want us to get a dog. And so they said no originally and we had to like try to convince them. So we went ahead, we found literally the perfect puppy, right? And we were like, this is our puppy. We named him, we reached out, we organized a time to go, we figured out how we were getting there. And just as we're about to leave, we realized that we haven't asked our landlord. So Devin goes and asks and they say no. And we're like, well, <laughs> that kind of messed up our plans for today. And so we went and we like pleaded our case a wee bit and they said that they will think about it and let us know. And so we are sitting and we are waiting and every minute feels like a day um, as we wait to hear if we're getting this puppy or not. Do you think this is our puppy? Yes, it's the one. Could you imagine him just being like... <laughs> Hopping along. Honestly, I'll be so sad if they say no. I literally called my family. I called my family at home, showed them all this puppy, and was like, we're getting a puppy today. And um, literally like asked for names, chatted about it, chatted about me bringing it home at Christmas, literally ran away with it, and we didn't even ask our landlord. We've been waiting for a really long time, and we haven't heard anything. So we don't think we're going today. <coughs> COVID. Oh my god. Yay! <laughs> we just got the go ahead. Are we gonna go like right now? Okay, you need to call Emma. Let's go. <laughs> Love, you're getting a puppy. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Love. So as soon as they said yes, we called them up. We were like, you want to come get a dog with us? And we started the drive. It was a three and a half hour drive there. It was late by the time we left and this was like a Sunday evening. We are on our way to the pet shop right now. We're going to go pick up some puppy pads, maybe a wee bed. Maybe a wee collar or something. Like we are insane. We just woke up today and we're like, let's just go do this. The rabbit's gonna be pissed. Yeah. He's gonna be like, what is this? Is this my breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> He's so excited. Kevin, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Remember when we were like, yes I am. Remember when we were like, oh, we'll just wait till after Christmas when we get back from Ireland. Yep, <laughs> that. Like the puppy's coming with us for Christmas. <laughs>
so it's pretty late when we got there and we picked him up. Emma is a star for going on the journey with us. It was about two o'clock in the morning, I think, by the time we got back. And now we have our wee pup, Teddy. Compared to my hand, like, he is so tiny. Are you ready to go inside? What is that, huh? He's like, I'm too tired for this. so well um he is such a happy wee pup he just zoomies everywhere he doesn't walk he exclusively zoomies and then he naps for hours and hours to recover from all the zoomies and he just wants to be best friends with our wee bun and the rabbit wants nothing to do with him right now but they're definitely um getting used to each other they're coming around and we have been training him to get into his carrier and um, we've been taking him for like daily drives in his wee travel carrier so that he is relaxed and comfortable in there and so that he can come home with me at Christmas which I'm very 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 excited about um it's about 40 something days until I go home and we're booking Devon's flights actually this weekend and We've been making a lot of plans for when we get home and everyone's so excited to meet Teddy and so it's just a very, very exciting time. He's actually sleeping in his travel carrier right now which shows you how comfortable he is in there. So this was your official introduction to Teddy. I just wanted to update you and just share him with you. He's honestly my whole heart. And so you'll be seeing a lot more of him. He gets his second round of jags or shots um, in two weeks time, I believe. And so then we'll be able to like take him out on walks, take him to meet other people. Um, a few people have called around, like Emma's met him and Dakota's come around and met him and Krista came around and met him, but nothing crazy. We've been keeping him inside and, and um, limiting who comes in until he gets his second round of shots. So I will be very relieved when that happens. Keep a wee eye out because there will be a lot more vlogs coming with him in them. Bye. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.